How's it going, everybody? Rob here, back with another video. And we're gonna play some more of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Alright, so. This is gonna be fun. So we're back at the Gold Saucer, doing some more of the uh, story stuff. We gotta find the Keystone. So this should be. See what how this goes. Ladies and gentlemen, something big is afoot. The fight for naming rights. Oh, it's done quick. This is your challenge to the Wicked Deal. Winner take all that for control of the park. Do you see this word? Wait, what? of Dio yet. Damn. Good race? Yeah. It'd be awesome if I could enter. As a jockey? Or a chocobo? Mm, either or. Wait on that one. In a bid to destroy their Listen dread flagship. Your being deployed to battle where to attend the moral showdown. The fate of, of the fate of the gold saucer hangs Space in the Space Rangers, oh! So let's show Commander Dio our support. And the way we go! We've arrived at your destination! Hey, lovebirds! It sounds like Tickets to tomorrow's crazy. match are almost. Oh, hey, Cloud. Doesn't look like Dio's around here. Do any of them realize war is about to break out? We do, but people always think war is someone else's problem, until they're in the thick of it. Cloud, I gotta be honest. Hmm? For the longest time, I wanted to do... everything. I wanted to fight for the planet, convince people to stand up, take action with us. But it's like, I always come up short. Always. No matter what I try. I'm in over my head. And maybe you are lost. But knowing your limits is one of the keys to knowing yourself. You're not. And we're not the dumb kids who fell off Mount Nebel anymore. We're not powerless. And we're not alone. So don't ever stop trying, Tifa. Ever. You just gotta stick it out. Don't give up now. Okay. Thanks. I needed that. All right, now let's go find Dio. Cool. Always come up short. Ladies and gentlemen, 
love birds. Tickets to tomorrow's match are almost sold out. Battle Square is brimming. Just name the square, and I'll get you there. And away we go. Okay. Almost past it. Where would you like to go, Kubo? And away we go! Have yourself a magical day! Okay, everyone, let the art show begin! Do you gonna throw down with somebody? That cowboy man was sick. Can you hang on a sec? Kinda busy here. All right, you're the boss. <laughs> Cloud, don't even think of lecturing me. I already did my recon, and it turned up squat. Okay. Anyway, you wanna throw down? Sure. I'm bad at this game. Damn it. How do you play this game again? How do you do this again? I forget. That was sloppy. I'd say you're pretty good at losing. <laughs> Don't pretend like you're not itching to play. Straight, straight. Oh my gosh. Damn it. <laughs> you know I could show you a few tricks for a small fee. Want to get in on the action club?
damn it. Ah, I suck at this. That was sloppy. You done good. Damn it! God damn it. Ah, oh, this thing sucks. Give 
Just don't have the acting chops. No, the fault lies. Bad news. No sign of Dio whatsoever. While we're talking, did you know this is where Jesse used to perform? Yeah. Oh. If she was with us, she'd probably be gushing about the role she played. Or maybe not. Maybe she'd be mad to see this place burning through more Mako than ever. Either way, she'd have kept us entertained. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Welcome at Midgar and decided to set up shop in the saucer. Great timing, eh? Interesting. There's an event being held at the Musclehead Coliseum tomorrow. If there's a dress rehearsal today, Dio might be there. We should check it out. I bought some protein powder and dropped it. Musclehead Coliseum will host an epic concert. Him. Greetings, Mr. Director! Hmm, he doesn't look quite right. Hmm. Well, if it isn't our friendly fugitives, you're looking hale and hearty. What happened to you? I made a painful discovery. That the Turks are stronger than they look. You, sir, should know better. You're no spring chicken. Speaking of old things, whatever happened to that wee keystone thingy? We need to get our hands on it. Hmm. It was part of your collection, last we heard. Hmm. It was, yes. And in fact, still is. Point of order. My ancestors owned it. Don't you think that makes me its rightful owner? Hmm. A cetera, are you? That, my dear, is a bold claim. <laughs> but still, who am I to dispute your heritage? You may, of course, have the keystone. That is, on one condition. Must take part in our exclusive event, the fight for naming rights. Dio's champions versus the Corneo family. Should my team fall to those rogues, the gold saucer will become Corneo Land. Let's it out. Training hard and getting those games. What's up, party people? What's up? It's a challenge from the dark. But look at me. I can barely lift a finger. And here I was, lamenting my lot in life, 
when you came along. Tis fate. Nay, divine intervention. What say you? Will you be my champions and go to war against Don Corneo? I'll do it. I'll fight. We win, we get the keystone. Right? As agreed, you have my word. Then we're in. Then we have ourselves a deal. <laughs> Naturally, I want you in peak physical condition for the big bout, so please use my hotel to rest up. Great. I'll jog on ahead and tell the others then. Taking part in the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow. Okay. Date night at the Golden Saucer. One of your comrades is hoping to spend a moment with Cloud later this evening. Cloud's relationship with his allies will determine how this portion of the story unfolds. If you wish to improve a bond with a teammate, complete any remaining odd jobs which feature them before you proceed. You'd better rest up before your big day. We hope you drop in again soon. <laughs> Gouts of blood, screams of pain. <laughs> Looking to rest in peace. Okay, until tomorrow. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> Not so good. Ah, 
had no idea you were into songwriting. Oh, I'm not. But I wanted to give it a shot. I see. Well, good for you. Never know till you try. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> they say curiosity kills the cat. No, well, sucks for him. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Tending to the sick. Okay. Oh. Aerith sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? Okay. When she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. What? But... How would she know? But... she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what the scary man looked like? Oh no. Please? His hair was long. And gray. I mean, in this situation, Zack assumes that Sephiroth is dead. Zack, did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that?
These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Well, all the rest of the flowers are dead. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. I need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on him while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. <laughs> no promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her, please. I won't. Okay, so... Yeah, everything, it looks like everything's dying. Here. Okay, come on. Work with me, game. about what you said couldn't stop thinking about it actually about how it's up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life because in avalanche I think I found mine we don't have a whole lot of time so tonight's got to be the night do yourself a favor and steer clear of reactor six <laughs> take care Biggs. Oh, no, shit. I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira. All right, moment of truth. Who are we going on the date with? <laughs> Those are some pillow marks. You must have been out like a light. You know, there's a showing of Loveless about to start. And I've got two tickets to it. We should go. Also, the Skywheel's running a special for couples, limited time only. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. What about the others? Forget about them. For now, anyway. Oh. <laughs> Come on. You know what? Okay. 
So we have the date night. Okay. This is gonna be awesome. Where is the... There it is. Elevator. Get out of here. You know what? I mean, ultimately, it was a toss up between Aerith or Tifa. And at this, I mean, at this point, as much as I like Tifa as a character, I really. I like what they did with Aerith. Your trusty guy removal is at your service. Though I'm gonna say I'm not gonna look forward to some of the backtracking. And away we go. But that's fine. And here we are. All right. I repeat, Attention. Our tonight. special showing of Loveless G Edition will begin shortly. We got a room, bro. Make your way to the theater. Are you here to see Loveless? Yeah, let's watch the play. Oh, they're all wearing goggles. Okay. Attention, event square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Please speak to a member of the staff at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Attention, event square guests. Could make them bloom. That's make them bloom. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? Okay. Okay. This is actually kind of fun to watch. Ted! 
I was gonna say, isn't that Jesse? From the first game? <laughs> this bear this Barrett's crying. <laughs> She was a star. metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Garya. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Malfoy was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a villain. Wait, what? Come, my faithful blade! Join me in the dance! Oh, Proceed or not to proceed. These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Release me. My blade thirsts for vengeance. Okay, I gotta pause. What? What? Alfred, are you unharmed? Oh, this Rosa, is so cute. How did you find me?
Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. What? Take not another step, gentle princess. Barbados. Ho oh, oh. ho. Would the cur defy his captor? I, by the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now. So too shall she guide my place. <laughs> Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon draw. Okay. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay, we did good on that one. Bravo! What a splendid show! Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met. Noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future, if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage anew. Here we go. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. Oh shit. That was bad. That was so bad. <laughs> How 
the mighty are fallen, and in such disarray. Never before have I seen such hapless swordsmanship. Though lest we forget, the goddess above still smiles upon him. Or so we can but pray. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring hero's and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. We're going to go full hog on this. My love. Alfred. Ah, face the charade. Love is not but an illusion. <laughs> Let my blade strike true. Oh, crap. Final result. A. Bereft of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. <sighs> My heart still pounds. I am grateful to have fought at your side. Thank you, my hero. <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end, I wonder. Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. 
I cannot. But please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here. Ah. That was nice. Oh.
Go on. Not now! <laughs> Stupid game. I got, I got feelings to express after this. Changing. Guess so. Maybe you ought to go pro. You know, I just might. Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Uh-oh. We gotta hurry. Last call, folks! Alright, before... Okay, before we even... There's only been a few songs... And like from Final Fantasy that have in a sense triggered an emotional emotional response with me. Um strangely enough, one of them was from um Final Fantasy X2. As much as I shit on that game, um the lo the the love, love song that uh Yuna sings. In, I guess, in, in sort of response or correlation or, I guess, if anything, like, in terms of, like, her experiences being parallel to another summoner's experiences, is, is emotionally charged, so to speak. <laughs> And it makes you feel something, especially feeling, you know, I guess in a sense, the, be uh, the best way I can describe it, you, 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 you feel and understand what the, some of these characters have gone through. Again, 10. Final Fantasy 10. Not my favorite game. Heck, I have it on hold right now because I'm playing other games. But overall... That song itself is one of the best songs. This, that last musical number here in this game is such a good song. And I, I just, I gotta give it props. Like, it was, it was so good. It was so good. Alright. Let's go. Alright, let's get to the sky wheel. And here we are! Only couples may ride the sky wheel at this time. Grab your friend or partner and embark on a wondrous trip through the sights so and sounds of the gold saucer. Watch the adventure. Are you ready to ride? Your very eyes. Each moment more breathtaking. Yes.
What do you think this does? Wow! This is incredible! That is so cool. Just kiss already. <laughs> hey, check it out. So the Chocobo races. This is that guy's probably pissed that Chocobo we won. racing's nothing like that. Well, you would know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Aww. It's all so much. Isn't it? You surprised me at first. You were just like him, and... It wasn't your face or your clothes. It was you. The way you walked. The way you carried yourself. Whenever I looked at you, I saw him. But you're not him. And that's okay. Because right now, I want to be with you. Aww. And I'm trying so hard to find you. But I'm right here. Yeah, you are. But... Hey. Did Tifa talk to you about, um... Hey, um, Aerith? I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers Zaf. <gasps> How they were friends five years ago. What? I don't think so. At least, not about anything important. Oh. for tonight you're welcome but I didn't do anything <laughs> well market warriors you and me we'll show them tomorrow yeah Oh, this is gonna be good. Yeah, and no kiss, by the way. I didn't expect that. Full disclosure, didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, and seriously. Wow, find of the century. You never know. That intel could be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. 
it's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancient's headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. Hm. Good thing we let her go. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. All right, let's bring this one home. Okay. The fight for naming rights. Your battle party will consist of Cloud, his date, um, the previous night, and one member of your choosing. Once you and your teammates are prepared for the upcoming matches, speak with the receptionist staff. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun! But, for now, we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. Oh, wait, hold on. Alright, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow us on social media, links are in the description down below, as well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. Uh, uh, with that being said, this is uh, Robin Novacast signing off. Have a good one. Take care, and I'll see you guys next video.